So we moved then up to 1600. And there was a British general called Richard Wingfield. And he had been made Marshal of Ireland. So he was Marshal of the British Army in Ireland. And this is in the time of Queen Elizabeth I. Now, as you know, they're always afraid of being attacked from outside. Uh, in those days, it was the Spanish. And it had to do with politics and had to do with religion because Britain was now Protestant, whereas the Spanish were Catholic. Now, later on, it became the French. <laughs> you know, when they sorted out the Spanish and the French. But in those days, it was the Spanish. And uh, 1601, a huge Spanish fleet landed in Kinsale. Now, it was a huge mistake because their allies were the uh, O'Neills and O'Donnells who lived up in Donegal and Tyrone. So the first mistake was they landed at the wrong end of the country. And the second mistake was they landed in winter. Now, what the O'Neills and O'Donnells should have done was said, well, we're staying put. But they marched the whole length of Ireland in winter to try and come to their aid. Meanwhile, Richard Wingfield headed a British army down to Kinsale to try and sort them out. So he, he defeated the Spanish at Kinsale. And he was the one who oversaw the surrender of the Spaniards in Kinsale. Then he routed the Irish. They fled back up to Northern Ireland in the middle of winter. But by the time they got there, they were no longer a force that could take on the British. So they decided to cut their losses and emigrated to Spain, the flight of the Earls. <laughs>